Hello, my dear students, how have you been? Today we have a new story. The title of our story is The Impossible, The Impossible Fit Show. The genre of the story is realistic fiction, but in the beginning, let's take the essential question or let's talk about it. How can you use what you know to help others? We all have skills and talents. We might be artists or smart, we might be good at sport or music, so we can use our talents to help others. Our skills and talents also make us feel good about other, about ourselves. So the title of our story is The Impossible Fit Show. The genre of the story is realistic fiction. What's the meaning of realistic fiction? The realistic fiction is a made-up story that could really happen. It has dialogue. Dialogue means conversation and illustration. And it's maybe a part of a longer book or chapters or maybe a part of a series about the same characters. Now let's start the vocabulary words, but in the beginning, I want you to open your reading book page number 274, 275, 274, 275. Open your reading books, prepare your sticky notes to write the meanings. The first word here is impressed, impressed, impressed. What's the meaning of impressed? Impressed means to feel shy, uncomfortable, or ashamed. So when you feel impressed, you feel shy, uncomfortable, or ashamed. Like Tia was impressed when she forgot her lines in the play. Like when we say, or when you say, or when I say, I feel so impressed. My friend became impressed when he didn't know the answer. He was extremely impressed about his test score. So what's the meaning of impressed? It means to feel shy or uncomfortable or ashamed. The second word, confidence. Confidence, what's the meaning of confidence? Confidence means trust or faith. It means trust or faith. So when you have confidence, you have trust or faith in something or someone. Like when we say, I have confidence in you. He betrayed my confidence. I have confidence um, that he is honest. Self-confidence is the key to success. So this word is confidence. Judy read her report calmly and with confidence. Apologized, apologized. The base word here is apologized, but we have ed, so it's apologized. What's the meaning of apologized? If you apologized, you said you were sorry. Like when I say I apologized for being late, I apologized for what I said, I apologized for my sister for what I have done. She apologized, she apologized for calling so late at night. So apologize means to say sorry. Like Kate apologized for baking the dish. Audience, audience, audience means a group of people that gather to hear or see something. So an audience is a group of people gathered to hear or see something. Like here, okay, let's read the sentence. The audience clapped and it cheered at the end of the play. Like we had a large audience. His speech held the attention of the audience. The audience looked for it. All the audience was excited. So the audience is a group of people gathered to hear or see something. Talents, the talents is a natural abilities or skills. 
the, the talents are natural abilities or skills. Like one of Lila's talents is playing the violin. I have a natural talent. He is, talent, he is a talented writer or he's a talented singer or writer or maybe actor. The boy has a great talent. What's your talent? Achievement, what's the meaning of achievement? The achievement is something that's done successfully. So, so achievement is something that is done successfully or it's accomplished or something that you accomplished. That's mean you did it uh, well, or that's mean something that is you done successfully. So what's the meaning of achievement? It's something that you accomplish. Like when we say mm, they, they may be, mm, 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 mm. let me think about the sentence. Okay, let's change it. Let's say true achievement requires hard work. I rewarded my students for their good work. Um, he rewarded her a gold medal for her achievement. So achievement is something uh, done successful or it's something that you accomplish. Like it's a big achievement to fly a kite on a very windy day. Attention. When you give something your attention, you watch, listen, and concentrate on it. Like when I say, pay attention. So what's the meaning of attention? Is something you watch, listen, and concentrate on it. Like she attract our attention. You must pay attention to the teacher. Give me your attention, please. So attention means to watch, listen, and concentrate on something. It's important to pay attention to directions. Realized, realized means to understood something completely. If you realize something, you understood it completely. Like when we say, I realized I needed help. He realized his mistake. I never realized how much I missed nature. So realized means to understood something com completely. My soccer team celebrated when we realized we had won the game. Now let's talk about the prefix or the prefixes. The prefix is a word part. We added it before the word or at the beginning of the word and they change the meaning of the word. So the sound that comes before the root word is called a prefix, the prefix. When the prefix is added, it changes the meaning of the word. That's what the prefix does. The prefix is a word part. We added it to the beginning of the word or at the beginning of the word, they change the meaning of the word. Like pre, pre means before. Preheat means to heat before. Preschool, that's mean before the school. Miss means wrong or bad, like misunderstand or misbehave. Un means not like unhappy, unsure. Re means again, like replay, refill, um, rewrite. So the prefix is added before the root word to make a new word. So they change the meaning of the word. Re means again, like here. Rewrite means write again. Un means not, unkind means not kind. Pre means before, pre made, that's mean before made. This means not or opposite, dishonest, uh, dishonest means not honest. M means not or opposite of, impolite means not polite or the opposite of polite. None means not like nonsense means not sense, miss means wrong or bad, like misbehave means wrong behave or bad behave. Now get your turn practice book. Open page number 161. Let's solve the questions, but let's revise the words first. Achievement, 
it's something you have done successfully or it's something you accomplished it. Attention, that means to watch, listen, and concentrate on something. Confidence is just your faith. Apologize to say you were. Sorry, talents are natural abilities. Uh, audience, a group of people gathered to watch or to hear something, realize, to understand something completely, impressed, to feel shy, uncomfortable, or ashamed. So use the context clues, the context clues, then that's mean the words before and after the space or the blank in each sentence to help you decide which vocabulary words fits best in the blank. Madeline had many such as singing and dancing. So singing and dancing, they are natural abilities. So she had many, many what? Many talents. Let's write talents. such as singing and dancing. However, she liked acting the most. There was nothing she enjoyed more than being on a stage in front of when the actors or the singers or the dancers on the stage, the people will gather to watch them. So we will call them audience in front of an audience. and performing in a play. If all went well, the lead role in the school play would surely be hers. Getting the part would be a great, a great achievement, achievement or accomplish. On the day of the audition, Mad uh, Madeline was ready. She knew her lines by heart and had a lot of confidence. Had a lot of confidence that she would get the lead role. I'm so excited, said her best friend, Helen. I can't wait to be the play in the play. I want the lead role, said Madeline. She got up on stage for the audition. Somehow she couldn't remember her lines. Madeline's face turned red. She started sweating and she felt more shy and uncomfortable. That's mean impressed. 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 Okay. Then ever before, she said she was sorry. And when she said she was sorry, she apologized. So apologized. And apologize to her teacher. I don't remember my li line, said Madeline. She quickly walked off the stage. What's the matter? Asked Helen. I forgot my line, said Madeline. Now I won't be in the play. I wish no one had been watching me or paying attention at all. Everyone knows you're talented, said Helen. You just made one mistake. It's okay. I think that you will still be in the play no matter what. Madeline understood what Helen meant. So she understood. That means she realized. She realized, realized it would be fun to be on stage with her best friend Helen, even if she didn't get the lead role. Okay, now turn your page. Here we have the vocabulary strategy prefixes. We said the prefixes are word part. We added them to the beginning of the word to change the meaning of the word. Add the prefix pre, and pre means before, and means not, and means uh, not or none. None means not also to the words in the box below, then complete the sentence with the new words. Heat means preheat here, not means we're going to add pre to make it preheat, sure, unsure, possible, impossible. Impossible, we're going to add the prefix. M. 
cannot say impossible. No, it's impossible. Uh, here, bearable, unbearable. Unbearable. Sense, nonsense. Perfect, imperfect. Without number one, without my coat on, I find the cold weather is unbearable. So let's try unbearable. Number two, he was of how to answer the question because he didn't study. So he was unsure how to answer the questions. This riddle is, I don't understand it at all. So it was nonsense. Some people said training an elephant was impossible, but she said that it could be done. I will the oven before baking the pie. I will heat it before. That means preheat. I will preheat the oven before baking the pie. The beautiful diamond had a small scratch on it. That's made it imperfect because it had a small scratch. Thank you for listening, grade three. See you later. Goodbye.